Yggdrasil is an important figure in Norse mythology. It is also known as the World Tree and connects the Nine Worlds. The exact origin of the name is unknown, but Yg means terrible or frightening in Old Norse, while the exact meaning of the word Drassil is uncertain. Yggdrasil, as the World Tree, is located at the center of the universe. It connects the Nine Worlds, the three main worlds of Asgard, the place of the gods, Midgard, the place of men, and Helheim, the place of the dead. The branches of the tree reach to the sky and its roots reach under the earth. It also provides the link between Asgard and the other worlds and represents the relationships between gods, giants, humans, and other beings. The other six realms are as follows. Jotunheim, the world of giants. Giants live in Jotunheim and often clash with the gods. Vanaheim, the land of the Vanir gods. The Vanir gods are associated with fertility, nature, and productivity. Alfheim, the world of the elves. Alfheim is depicted as a place full of light and beauty. Svartalfheim, the world of dwarves and dark elves. This world is home to dwarves, known as the guardians of underground mines and treasures. Niflheim, a cold and dark realm. This world is known as the resting place of the dead and along with Helheim is one of the final resting places of the dead. Muspelheim, the land of flames. This place is home to fire giants and monsters, the source of fire and chaos. Asgard is considered the home of the major gods, especially the most powerful gods such as Odin, Thor, and Frey. Other gods also live here such as Frigg, Baldr, Tyr, and Loki. It consists of a high and bright castle. This castle is surrounded by high walls and it is almost impossible for humans to enter. This castle symbolizes the place where the gods and goddesses live. Valhalla, located in Asgard, is where the souls of warriors live after battle. In the presence of Odin, warriors are chosen to fight for immortality and eternal honor. The Bifrost Bridge, which connects Asgard to other worlds, is depicted as a colorful bridge of the rainbow. This bridge is used to travel between gods and other beings. Asgard is the center of the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok. According to legend, gods and monsters face off in Asgard in the final battle, triggering the rebirth of the universe. As an important element of Norse mythology, it explains the relationships between gods and humans, power dynamics, and the order of the universe. The interactions between gods and the stories filled with the heroes of Asgard are one of the most interesting aspects of Norse mythology. Midgard is where humans live and go about their daily lives. In Norse mythology, humans are directly associated with Midgard, and it is their homeland. It is located in the middle of the world tree called Yggdrasil. Through Midgard, humans can connect with other worlds. As the branches of this tree reach to the sky, and the roots to the underworld. It is also the center of the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok. According to legend, gods, giants, and other monsters will face off in Midgard in the final battle. The outcome of this battle will shape the rebirth of the universe. Midgard is a place where natural elements and forces are represented in Norse mythology. Mountains, rivers, forests, and seas make up the various regions of Midgard and influence people's lives. Midgard is depicted as the home of many mythical creatures and heroes. In the legends, people often go on various adventures and encounter gods, giants, and other beings in Midgard. Midgard forms an important part of the complex fabric of the universe in Norse mythology. This world inhabited by humans and gods is the setting for many important events and adventures in mythological stories. Helheim is where the souls of the dead go. The deceased usually follow the call of Hel, the goddess of death, to go to this realm. It is depicted as a cold and dark land. According to legends, it is perpetually winter here, and the atmosphere is frightening and gloomy. Helheim is named after Hel, the goddess of death. Hel is the daughter of Loki, and is a half-mortal, half-immortal being. She reigns as the queen of this realm and accepts the souls of the dead. In Helheim is Hel's palace where the souls of the dead reside. This palace is where the dead live eternal lives. According to legends, the gates of this palace are strongly guarded, and it is impossible for the souls to return. 
Helheim is also the center of the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok. According to legend in the final battle, other worlds, including Helheim, will be the scene of a great war, triggering the rebirth of the universe. In Norse mythology, Helheim represents the complex and frightening aspects of death and the afterlife. This realm plays an important role in the balance and order of the universe and is often featured in mythological stories. Jotunheim is the place where giants reside and control. Giants are depicted in Norse mythology as powerful beings who often clash with the gods. It has a vast land covered with mountains. These mountains are the refuge of the giants and their habitat. Jotunheim is a place where natural elements and forces are represented. Here, the power of natural phenomena and the presence of supernatural beings that can be dangerous for mortal humans are emphasized. Jotunheim is depicted as a place where giants often clash with the gods. Giants compete with the gods, sometimes cooperate with them, and sometimes are at enmity with them. Jotunheim is the birthplace of Loki, who is known for his relations with gods and giants, and is also a descendant of giants. Loki is a bridge between both gods and giants in Norse mythology. Vanaheim is the seat of the Vanir pantheon, the Vanir gods. The Vanir gods are often associated with fertility, nature, and productivity. Vanaheim is considered a symbol of the power of nature and fertility. It is associated with agriculture, hunting, and other natural activities. Important Vanir gods in Norse mythology include Freya and Freyr. Freya is known as the goddess of love, beauty, fertility, and war, while Freyr is described as the god of fertility, abundance, and productivity. Vanaheim is at the center of relations between the gods. The relationships between the Vanir gods and the Aesir gods, such as Odin, Thor, Loki, have often been the subject of mythological stories. Vanaheim is at the center of interactions with other worlds. The Vanir gods trade, make treaties, and wage war with gods and beings from other worlds. Alfheim is the place where the elves reside and control. In Norse mythology, elves are associated with natural beauty, light, and grace, and Alfheim is a symbol of these qualities. Alfheim is depicted as a land full of light and beauty. It is known for its beautiful landscapes, flower-filled gardens, and clear waters. Alfheim is a world illuminated by sunlight and moonlight. These light sources constantly illuminate Alfheim and give it its natural beauty. Alfheim is inhabited by different kinds of creatures as well as elves. Elven kings and queens rule this realm, while other mythological beings also live here. Alfheim is at the center of interactions between gods and elves. The gods trade with the elves, make treaties, and sometimes go to war with them. Elves often work in the service of the gods or help them. Svartalfheim is home to dwarves and dark elves. In Norse mythology, these beings live underground, especially in mines and caves. Svartalfheim is known as the home of dwarves and dark elves, guardians of underground mines and precious treasures. These beings forge precious metals and stones and guard great treasures. Svartalfheim is often depicted as having a dark and mysterious atmosphere. This world lies deep underground and receives less light than the surface. Dwarves and dark elves are described in mythological stories with various mystical abilities. In particular, their mastery of metalworking, magic, and the arcane arts is emphasized. Svartalfheim is at the center of interactions between gods and dwarves and dark elves. The gods visit this world from time to time to receive precious treasures from the dwarves and dark elves. Niflheim is depicted as a cold and dark land. According to legends, this world is characterized by eternal winter and a gloomy atmosphere. Niflheim is where the souls of the dead go. In Norse mythology, the souls of the dead can go to other realms of the dead, such as Hel or Valhalla, but some are sent to Niflheim. Niflheim is under the rule of Hel, the goddess of death. Hel is considered the queen of Niflheim and receives the souls of the dead here. It is said that special apples grow in Niflheim, which are used to feed the souls of the dead. These apples help the souls of the dead to live on. Niflheim is also the center of the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok. According to legend, in the final battle, other worlds, including Niflheim, will be the scene of a great war, triggering the rebirth of the universe. 
Muspelheim is depicted as a land of fire and flames. This world is filled with endless flames and volcanoes, and its atmosphere is terribly hot and angry. Muspelheim is home to the fire giants, the natives of Muspelheim. These giants are considered symbols of fire and destruction and have the power to trigger the apocalypse of the universe. Muspelheim is filled with surreal landscapes such as lava flows, volcanic eruptions, and flaming lakes. These landscapes represent a very different environment from other worlds. Muspelheim is also the center of the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok. According to legend in the final battle, the fire giants living in Muspelheim fought the other worlds and triggered the rebirth of the universe. Surt, the ruler of Muspelheim, is according to legend a gigantic fire giant and a symbol of the apocalypse. Surt fights the other gods in the final battle and brings about the destruction of the universe. Yggdrasil has a dragon that lives in its branches and eats it, and a snake at its roots that represents the end of the world. The world tree also shelters many animals, and beneath it is a sacred spring that lives in the depths of the water. In Norse mythology, Yggdrasil represents the structure and order of the universe. Its strength and endurance signify the continued existence of the universe. It is also said that in the apocalyptic event known as Ragnarok, Yggdrasil will be affected and will be part of the rebirth.